this video we are going to look the history of the San people, but not related to the Bantu tribes. The San are descendants of early Stone Age ancestors, clan and a loosely connection family groups followed seasonal game migration between mountains range and coastline. This made their homes in caves, under rocks, overhangs, or in temporary shelters. Those migrators people do not domesticate animals or cultivate crops, even though their knowledge of both flora and fauna is vast. The sun categorized thousands of plants and the other in their uses, from, nat from nutrition to medical, mystical, mystical to recreational and leather. The sun men have a formidable reputation as tractors and hunters. Sun tractors will follow the spores or tracks of an animal across the virtual any kind of surface or terrain. Their skills even enable them to distinguish between the spores of a wooden animal and that of the rest of the head. At at about the beginning of the Christianity era, a group of people who owned small livestock moved into the northern and western part of South Africa and migrated southward. These pastoralists called Koikoi. Coincidentally, in the eastern part of the country, another migration was occurring. The Bantu speaking people were moving southward, bringing them bringing with them kettles. The concept of planting crops and settled village life. The Hotentos met those black-skinned farmers and obtained from them cattle in exchange for animal skin and other items. This, when the wild settled arrived in the mid-7th century, the whole central was inhabited by three different groups. The hunters gathered, which called San, the pastoralists, Koikoi, and the farmers, Bantu. At first, the San coexisted peacefully with the Nguni, speakers with the Nguni as a sub-language group of Bantu. Speakers the Zulu, Shona, Swazi, and Ndebele, who intermarried with the sun and incorporated some of the distinctive, or distinctive and the characteristics, clicks of the sun language into their own language. Contact with the Ngun and Sato Swana farmers is deepskated in the sun rocks art. The art started including representation of cattle and sheep as well as of people with shield and spears in their paintings. Unfortunately, hunters gathered could not live permanently alongside a settler community and those problems arose. When the sun fought against the Bantu, they were at a huge disadvantage not only in numbers but also in lack of weapon. With the Europe, they were at an even greater disadvantage. The Europe only holds and fears. In this period, the number of sun was greatly reduced. They found to the death and preferred death to capture where they would be forced into slavery. Colonialism destroyed the sun migrators way of life. They were no longer allowed to run free and trophy hunters destroyed the vast head of the game that form the yes, principal supply of food. Both black and white farmers built up huge heads of cattle that destroyed the food that had been the sun staple diet for centuries. Enslavement and sometimes mass destruction of sun community by both white and black farmers followed, mainly because farm laborers and some joined black farming communities and intermarried with them, which added to the destruction of the social identity of the Sun people. Now let's look to the social and the cultural life of the Sun people. 
The Sun have no formal authority figure or chief, but govern themselves by group consensus. Consensus. Dispute are resolved through lengthy discussion where all involved have a change to make their thought head until some agreement is reached. Certain individuals may assume leadership in special spheres in which they excel, such as hunting or healing rituals, but they cannot achieve position of general influencer or power. White colonists found this very confusing when they tried to establish treaties with the sun. Leadership among the sun is kept for those who have lived within that group for a long time, who have achieved a respectable age and good character. Sun are largely egalitarian, sharing such things as meat and tobacco. Land is usually owned by a group and right to land are usually inherited by literary. Kingship bonds provide the basic framework for political murders. Membership in a group is determined by residence. As long as a people, as long as a person lives on the land of his group, he maintains his membership. It is possible to hunt on the land not owned by the group, but permission must be obtained from the owner. Sun hunting method. The sun are excellently hunters, although they do a fair amount of trapping. The best method of hunting is with bow and arrow. The sun arrows does not kill the animal straight away. It is deadly poison, which eventually caused the death. In the case of small antelope, such as duke or standbook, a couple of hours may elapse before death. For large antelope, this could be 7 to 12 hours. For large game, such as giraffe, it could take as long as 3 days. Today, the sun makes the poison from the level of a small battle, but we also use poison from plants, such as anphobia and snake venom. Let's conclude to what did the sun eat. The sun eat everything available, both animal and vegetable. Their selection of food range from antelopes, zebra, papine, wild hare, lion, giraffe, fish, insects, tortoise, flying ants, snakes, hyena, eggs, and wild honey. And wild honey. The meat is boiled or roasted on fire. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share our video.